About 18 political parties on the platform of the Inter-Party Advisory Council have passed a vote of confidence on the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, for what they described as satisfactory preparations for the 2023 elections. The action was taken at the Council's Emergency General Assembly meeting held in Abuja to evaluate threats to the election. IPAC's National Secretary, Yusuf Dantale, who read the communique before journalists, said the meeting observed the purported plots to remove the INEC chairman from office on allegations of false assets declaration. A few weeks to the general election, the speed of the campaign violence as well as the recent or recent upsurge in attacks on the commission's offices and state across the federation. I are deeply concerned about the level of insecurity in the country, spreading in most parts of the state, where the governors are using sponsored touts to stop and destroy campaign, campaign materials and the party offices of the opposition political parties. The heightened, politically motivated killings and attacks are worrisome and should stop immediately for the citizens to discharge their civic duties. Security agents should fish out the perpetrators, perpetrators of this heinous crime and their sponsors to face justice. The 2023 general election is indeed a defining moment for Nigerians to choose new leaders that will pilot the affairs of the nation in the next four years. Eligible citizens should collect their PVCs and vote for candidates of their choice. Our next position on the deployment of technology in the conduct of the 2020 general election is in tandem with the stance of IPAC, particularly its decision to deploy the bimodal voters' registration system, BVAS, and voters using the voters' fingerprint. It is this improved technology in the conduct of elections that triggered attacks on INEC facilities and grant plus to remove its chairman a few weeks to the presidential and national assembly election. It's later for 25th February 2020. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.